I've played the piano for about 20 years and over that time I've discovered a lot of beautiful chords. In this video, I'm going to show you how to come up with amazing chord voicings using my simple three-step system. One of the challenges I see with beginner pianists is they say they want to play nice chords, but they have no idea where to begin. I remember when I first started, I wanted to hurry up and play chords that I would hear or thought were impressive, but before I could do that, I had to learn about these things called triads. In music, there are four types of triads. There's the major triad, minor, diminished, and augmented. These types of chords are the foundation to other chords you may have heard. And that leads me to the first step, which is pick a triad. I'm gonna pick C minor. Playing only triad chords works for some people and certain types of music, but I wanna have an extensive vocabulary. And in order for me to do that, I have to branch away from just playing triad chords. And that leads me to my second step, which is add additional notes. If my chord is C minor, I can add on additional notes to that chord. And that new chord will be used in substitution of that initial triad chord. Here's the C minor chord. I can add on the flat seven, which makes it a C minor seven. I can add on the nine, We've got a C minor nine. I can add on the 11. You have a C minor 11. Just from taking advantage of step number two, we now have a wider variety of chords that we can use just from adding on additional notes. Now I will say in step number two, you have to be willing of going in pursuit of finding chords that you may not have played before. So that involves experimentation. I'm not gonna hit you with you know all this theory in order to find you know beautiful chords. I would say that you just have to be willing to just find chords that sound good to you, find chords that you feel like you can add into your toolbox and create beautiful progressions. So instead of playing the C minor chord, this basic triad chord, let's say I wanna play a C minor 11 chord. We picked a triad, added additional notes. Now we can do step number three, which is rearrange. It's not always needed, but sometimes rearranging the notes can allow you to uncover some really cool chords. We have this C minor 11 chord. What if instead of voicing it like this, what if I voiced it like this? I'm gonna put the C, G, B flat down here. And what if I have in the right hand, E flat, F, D. It's still a C minor 11 chord. I just rearranged the notes. Keep in mind, we started off on a C minor chord. We went from that to, it's, this chord is still functioning like a C minor chord, but I added additional notes and I rearranged the notes. And as a result, that gives me a very beautiful chord voicing. In context, I could do something like, there's that C minor chord. I could do that, but instead of playing that chord, I can substitute that for that C minor 11 chord we just discovered. I could do. I love that chord. Let's do an example starting on the major triad. I'm gonna pick F major. That's step number one. Step number two is add additional notes. Now I can add on this E. That makes it an F major seven. I can add on this G. That works. That's F major nine. That's step number two, add additional notes. This F major nine sounds really good. Step number three is rearrange. Now we have this F major nine chord. I could leave it like this, or I can rearrange some of the notes. I'm gonna make a, a slight tweak. I'm gonna take this G and move it down an octave. So now we have from open voicing to a closed voicing. Now I could do a chord progression like this. I could do that or I could do. Sounds really good, I love that voicing right there. And all we did was we started on that basic major triad, added on additional notes and we rearranged the notes. We just moved that G down an octave to that. Let's 
do an example starting on a diminished triad. I'm gonna pick F sharp diminish. All right, for this chord, I can add on this D sharp. I can also add in this D. All right, we went from F sharp diminish to, to this chord. Sounds really good. That's step number two, add additional notes. Step number three is rearrange the notes. So initially we had this chord. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this A and I'm gonna move it up an octave. And now I have. So instead of playing this F sharp diminished chord, I'm playing, it's still functioning like this F sharp diminished, but now I'm playing. I love that voice, sounds good. So in context, this F sharp diminished chord could lead me smoothly to a G minor chord. Right, it could lead me to that G minor chord. Instead of playing this F sharp diminished, what if I played that chord we just came up with? What if I played this and went to like a G minor chord? So instead of doing, I could do, Still functioning like that F sharp diminished chord, but I'm just reharmonizing it. That one sounds amazing. With this system, you have endless opportunities to create beautiful chord voicings. Start off with a basic triad and then go in pursuit of finding chords that you like. Study them and make them a part of how you communicate. As you know, you can't create amazing music just from knowing beautiful chords. You also have to know how to stitch those chords together. That's why I put together a video to show you a simple way to create smooth progressions. Make sure to check it out.